Hello and thanks for watching. This is a quick review. This is a quick review of the Aftershocks Blues 2. This is the second uh, generation of this Bluetooth device. Um, it is known to be a wireless bone conduction headphone. This is the box. It's pretty neat, pretty nice. Um, and this is how it opens. Voila. There's nothing in here because I already had it out. I took it out so I can check it out. I really did. And I really thought that it's going to have uh, a good review. But unfortunately, I'll break it to you straight. Bad news first. Um, it's not good. Uh, it has a lot of problems, a lot of negativity in it. First of all, the sound that comes out of it comes out real um, uh, deep, real bass-like and uh, as you see in the picture right here, the way it sits on the ear, it can be very painful. I only had it on my ear for maybe um, approximately an hour, hour and a half altogether. And I really suffered a lot of pain um, from it right, right above the ear, as you see, uh, because it actually pushes hard. And uh, uh, they actually uh, give you this strap to make it, uh, you know, give you more pressure on the ears, which is, you know, uh, I don't recommend at all. And they send uh, this uh, this bag with it as well uh, for safety because, uh, you know, it's supposed to be for athletes or whatever. So you take it with you, you keep it in here. This is cool, cool stuff, but after all, you know, with this pain and with the, the sound, that comes out of it, it's not the best, I'll be honest with you. Um, this is how you charge it. You punch this in it, uh, right over here, and then you uh, plug this into your computer, or if you have an extra charger, you could plug it in the wall. Um, for as much as it costs, uh, about $100, it is not worth the pain that you're gonna go through uh, putting it on for the first uh, hour, hour and a half so sorry after uh shocks this is not good i hope you guys do a better one next time thank you for watching subscribe please like us